Hey, Cody Roll with New Mavericks here, coming to you from Miami, Florida, once again. In my last video, I spoke about the default mode network and how that has to do with going inside of your head and ruminating about your trials, your tribulations, and really getting into it, and how uh, you can get outside of that, be present to the moment, generate that endogenous happiness, and just have a great time with life. Now what I'm gonna talk about is how that can make you a more attractive individual. So how does that happen? And let's get a little scientific about it. So it's really the difference between being an introvert and an extrovert. And obviously that distinction has been around for a long time. Um, with being an introvert, you think about yourself a lot, you're not very emotionally available. And um, with being an extrovert, you're kind of out there just having a great time, very expressive, uh, generally more of a fun person. Now people can argue each side, but typically what you find is that people that are extroverts are rated as being more attractive. I just looked at a study the other day, they took 275 people, uh, they had this scale where they rated themselves on um, different emotional states that they had been in in the last week and what that was designed to do is to measure their degree of being an introvert or an extrovert. What they did was just take pictures of these people, nothing special, not like smiling any different, nothing really out of the ordinary, but when they had the people rate them, the other people, uh, the uh, extroversion rating was in a positive correlation with how attractive other people thought they actually were. So there's something with that, there's something in the biology of being an extrovert and being present to the moment that makes people more attractive to other people in general and especially the other sex. Um, what I talked about with my fractal brain video a couple of months ago was there is this structure of with your belief system rating to your thoughts to rating to your behavior and out through to the environment that shows how you're feeling on the inside and people are really keen on picking that up. There's something in the human brain that is incredibly keen on understanding where other people are coming from. Uh, researchers in the late 90s, early 2000s developed this theory, uh, they called it the mirror neuron and what they found was that within monkeys, uh, if a monkey either picked up an object or saw another person picking up an object, uh, the same neuron would light up. So basically they were um, seeing their brain was uh, functioning in the same way despite not actually doing the active task. And with fMRI scans later, they found that emotional states were in the same, uh, in the same realm. So what I'm trying to say is that people can pick up your emotional state. It's a, there's another concept called state transference. So if you're feeling nervous, if you're feeling closed off and uh, generally uncomfortable and you're talking to someone, they're going to feel that too. Their mirror neurons are lighting up, the state is being transferred to them, and they're going to feel uncomfortable. They're not really going to want to be there to interact with you. Uh, conversely, if you're feeling open, if you're feeling content, if you're feeling good about life, they're going to feel that too. And generally what's going to happen there is that the people are going to stick around and want to be in your presence more. They're going to be... A, a, they're, going to be wanting to be around you and experience you for you. Now, what that does is it creates relationships. With time is the building of relationships, it's the trading of stories, it's finding connections, it's finding if you're compatible with other people, if you share common goals, if you can really benefit from being in a, in a relationship with them. So being out of that default mode network and being in that present moment and generating that endogenous happiness is going to make you a more attractive individual overall. Have people want to be around you because they can feel your state transference through concepts like the mirror neurons and generally help you build relationships with people so that you can um, find people, find resources, find what you need to be the most successful individual that you can be, which is very important if you're someone like a new maverick who's trying to improve themselves every day and just become uh, the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. So my go-to tasks for these two videos on the default mode network, start meditating, or at least try it. Uh, take a look at apps like Headspace. I use that all the time. I really enjoy it. They take you through 
uh, the exercises and you can generate that feeling of contentment every morning when you do your morning meditation. Number two, find a, find a task that you enjoy. Get into that flow state. Maybe it's an art project, maybe it's a sport, maybe anything that gets you outside of your head, enjoying life and do that more and more often. Get into it, enjoy the present moment so you can generate that endogenous happiness and that feeling that other people want to be around, that other people want to be a part of. And number three, get out and socialize, practice getting outside of your head, generating that carefree attitude so that you can uh, transfer it to other people and see the magic of what happens when you do that. The world really becomes a more lively and exciting place when you try to do that and when you master that skill. So this is Cody Rawl with New Mavericks. I hope you enjoyed my talks in the default mode network. I'll be coming to you in a couple of weeks with some more vids. I really appreciate the comments. Uh, please leave them and I'll respond uh, and generate some discussion about this. Again, thanks. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.